when it comes to social media, we have essentially the same problems in the online world that we have in the offline one, which is essentially how do you stand out, how do you connect with people, how do you discern what's real, what's authentic, what is valuable, how do you create relationships, how do you then differentiate those relationships into professional, personal, lasting and temporary. There is a tip, of course, which I'm going to give you, which will help you with this. And it comes down to this. If you are creating content on social media in order to be sustainable content, in order to be of value, in order to be the kind of content that creates the touch point, which allows you to do all those things which I've mentioned, you just need to think of it in terms of the narrative of your identity. So essentially the content you create in whatever medium, in whatever context, in whatever time frame, has to be part of an ongoing narrative which essentially reflects the journey of your own identity, the things which you find interesting, the way you filter content and then project that into the world. What is interesting always when it comes to making contact with people is not really what they say or how they say it. All of these things are a little bit important, but it is essentially what they see. We are interested in connecting with their thoughts, ideas, their brains, and gaining a different perspective. And the only way we can do this is by basically, when you create content, you project your own mental journey into the ever evolving story of who you are and what you find important. And that will help you find an audience. It will help your audience understand who you are, what you do and why it is of value. It works at an individual level as much as it works at brand level. And that's it.